Hello, good morning students, Ala here. I am at the mechanical workshop and today's class is about the flush patch repair exercise 1. Next, you need to place your metal sheet on the guillotine. And then you can go ahead and slide your metal sheet into place. Or in other words, where the scribe line is parallel to the cutting blade. However, you also have to check if there is anything on the way of the foot pedal. And with a firm motion on the pedal, you want to make your cut. Use your rough files to remove material faster. And then when you're very close to the line, try and switch to the smoother file to get a smoother finish. Or your personal protective equipment, which includes the dust mask, gloves, and finally goggles. Now for the tools that you have to use, the pneumatic drill so you can drill out the piece, a wood block and finally the C clamps where you will hold the metal sheet on the wood block. Once again while you are drilling make sure that the pneumatic drill is straight and perpendicular to the metal sheet. <laughs> Hello students, afternoon, Luisa here. I'm here in the electronics workshop. And today's experiment, I'll be conducting bi-directional motor speed. I have already connected the circuit and I have set it up. This is according to the circuit diagram. The blue waveform is the ramp input and the output is the yellow waveform. Now, if I move this, clockwise the further I increase the more it goes negative to the next uh, procedure which says set the dial to 180 and set the frequency to 0 0.2 Hertz of u162 this is u162 um, I'm setting the toggle at point 0.1 and this is pointing at 2. As you can see, I have two wires that are connected. So of course we have our DC supply. We have the positive and the negative. The negative is always going to go to the ground, okay? And the positive I've connected on the top over here. 0.6 volts. Now, theoretically, we said it should be 0.7 volts, which is actually good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up to one box has a value of one volt so if i select the knob to be at two that means one box is two volts it's that simple as that 